What is the most expensive keyboard that you have ever bought? Let me know in the comment section below and let's see if someone can beat me up. For me, it is this Keychron's K2V2 keyboard that I recently bought for more than 100 bucks. This keyboard is a mechanical keyboard, Bluetooth and all these features which I'm going to discuss in this video. After you see this video, let me know in the comment section below if you think it is worth it or not. For me, after buying it, I was sort of regretting it. And why you are going to know in this video. Without wasting any time, let's start the video. So this is the unboxing of Keychron's K2V2 keyboard. A keyboard that costs around 8000. Should be worth it. This is the first leaflet that you can see. It has some instructions which I'm going to come in a second. Then there is a, what's this? A foam, black foam, which my camera is having difficulty focusing it. I'm going to keep it aside. And then this is the main thing, which is a keyboard that costs around $100 wrapped in a plastic sheet. Let me get that off. And now you can see the keyboard. This is the first time that we are having a look at the keyboard. And this is what the keyboard looks like. Besides the keyboard, there is a manual for this keyboard, which is present in almost all the languages that I can think of. But trust me, this might be the very first time that I have read a manual completely. Keeping it aside, there is a sleeve where you have some other things. Now, this is interesting. This is going to be interesting. This plastic that you see is supposed to have a key removal tool, which is this. And I don't know what's wrong with it. It never comes inside it. Always is outside. This is my second package I'm opening. And both of these two times, this naughty piece of equipment was not present inside its sleeve. Maybe quality control. After that, we have this type C cable, which you can use to connect your keyboard to the PC. It's a really thick braided, nice quality type C cable. You'll be seeing some of the keycap. I'm going to come back to these keycaps in a moment. Now that you saw what all things came with this keyboard, let's talk about the build quality of it. So this keyboard comes in two different options. You can opt for just the normal keyboard or you can opt for a keyboard which has aluminum sides. This one right here has the aluminum sides. So if you go for just the keyboard without the aluminum sides, it's going to be these bezels won't be there really like it's going to be very thin on the sides and the build quality of this entire keyboard. Then in that case, this is plastic and the key caps are also plastic. So it's going to be complete plastic keyboard. But this quality of plastic is good quality. So it's not cheap, flimsy. No, it's it's really solid and hard built. And with that, if you are opting for an aluminum body, this side railings will be cold to touch. And that's the aluminum that you are seeing right here. During the unboxing, we saw that this keyboard shipped with extra keycaps, but I didn't tell you back then what they were for. So this Keytron's K2V2 keyboard, which is a mechanical keyboard again, is compatible both with Windows as well as Mac. But as you already know, MacBook has these two options and command key whereas instead of this for a windows laptops keyboard you have the windows button and an alt button so in order for you to be able to switch between them seamlessly you are given these extra keycaps which actually are these two so windows alt you have these two options over here and then one extra alt for the right side over here and then you have this light light button and there would be one escape button so you can play around with making your escape orange or light orange or both of them subtle by this gray, gray one for me i've chosen this for now but this laptop's official configuration is only for mac but in case you want to use it for a windows you need to swap the keys from the alt and windows using this tool this is the same tool that never sits in its packaging i don't know why but all you have to do is expand this around the command key and pull it upwards. And it's that easy to get this outside. And once this is out, all you need to do is get to the alt, which is this and press it on top. And that's it. And if you have difficulties switching or knowing which key to swap where in this booklet or like small manual page, which was right on top, you have this option already given here that you can see over here. In case it's Mac, this is the one. In case it's Windows, you have to swap these keys over here. And they have given this option. So it's really nice that you have an option. And now in case you want to keep it flat on the table, 
you would need a palm rest for sure because it's a bit too elevated for your palm to sit nicely so a palm rest is required in case you're sitting it flat like this in case you don't have one you can always order from keychron or from any third party site but if you want an elevated keyboard like not completely flat you have these elevators over on both sides now you have two options you can go for the elongated elevation or you can choose this one which gives a bit more smaller elevation for the keyboard and this way it's a bit more elevated more towards the up slanting and then the hand posture is really good and the quality of these keyboards are really nice like the build quality is superb and that's what makes me feel that it's probably the only thing that makes it worth the money so let's talk about the functionality of the keyboard on the left side you have some ports and switches and this port over here is the type c port which you can use to charge the laptop as well as connect it with your pc if in case you want a wired connection and for that you already get a type c connector in the box and this is the switch which you can toggle if you are choosing to use a macbook or a windows depending upon that the bottom one is for macbook so you can slide it down if you are using a mac layout keyboard or if you're using a windows you can slide it up like this and then it's gonna be shifted to windows and then on the bottom in the center one it says off if you want to go wireless with the bluetooth option go on top this is bluetooth now and if you want to go to wired you have to slide completely down and this is now on wired configuration so you need to connect a cable over here and in center it's turned off by default on the right side there isn't really anything it's completely blank besides these two screws that are holding this aluminium frame in place. Now coming on to the functionality of each and every key over here, as you can see there are a lot of functionalities when it comes to this keyboard. All these are engraved on the keycaps which are on top. Also a nice thing here is that you can always change these keycaps to a custom one that you can get online or you can also buy it from Keychron. They have a couple one available on their website. In India they don't really have that much of options but in US they have a lot more. But this is all the functionality of a keyboard. This is the same leaflet which showed these replacement options over here. They utilize the back of it to show every single option which is present over here. I'm going to tell you some of that. So for example, this key switch right here, let me turn this keyboard on. This over here is to change the lighting effect. You have a lot of effects that you can switch to when it comes to this keyboard. So every single one you can see like it creates a nice pattern as well as like all these options are present. All you have to do is press one option. And there's also an option where you can just select one key and then it's going to change the color. So this is one uniform color. And then if you want to switch between the colors now, click on function and click on this. You're going to switch between the colors over here. Now it's red and all these RGB colors can be shifted. Now this keyboard also comes with power saving options since it's also Bluetooth compatible. So if you're connecting this keyboard with Bluetooth over your laptop and you don't really use it for 10 minutes, it's going to automatically turn this keyboard into sleep mode. And that's going to help you save or conserve the battery. And the moment you're back, you just have to press one key and it's going to automatically turn on. Then there's also an option to turn off the backlight of the keyboard. All you have to do is press function and then you can click on this lighting button and it's going to turn it off whenever you're not using it and if you want to turn it on again press the same and it's gonna enable it again this keyboard also holds a bit of memory inside it to save all the user profiles that you are creating with it but if you want to factory reset this keyboard anytime in the future or whenever you're using all you have to do is press function j and z together for four seconds and it's gonna factory reset the entire keyboard now one of the best things that i like about this keyboard is that it has the capacity to connect with three different bluetooth devices in one go and the way to do it is press and hold function and one key it's gonna start blinking pairing button over here with a blue color light on one and once you have that like this light once you have this you can pair it with your pc and then when you want to pair it with your second pc you have to press function and hold second button over here and it's going to do the same lighting blue effect and then you know you can pair it with second pc and the same can be done with third key again and whenever you want to switch between them all you have to do is press function and one it's going to switch to the first function and two going to switch to second function and three it's going to switch to the third computer seamlessly you can use one keyboard to control three different machines how amazing is that 
At any point of time, if you want to see how much battery your keyboard is having, all you have to do is press this function and press B. And this color light, the light color will tell you how much battery it is. Like not exact percentage, but approximate. Now it's showing red. That means it's near about empty or probably going to be empty soon. And if you connect your charger to it, you can see the light blink over in this USB port icon in this dot. And that's how you can also monitor it if it is charging or not. The battery life on this Keychron's K2 V2 lasted for around a week. I would say for me, it depends upon person to person, but the battery inside this keyboard is of 4000 mAh. It's a long, big battery that probably is increasing the weight of this keyboard. But for me, it's really worth it because I don't really want to have a keyboard that's flimsy and light as well. Now that we have talked a lot about this keyboard and its features, the build quality and everything, and that $100 justification that it actually provides you with all the features that you're paying for, why am I still regretting buying it? Well, one of the biggest reasons is that even though this keyboard comes with one year of warranty, I'm pretty sure the moment this keyboard has some issues, I'm gonna have really hard time to claim that warranty. And I'm telling it by a fact because the first keyboard that I received had a faulty left she shift button. And this initially I thought it was just my issue but when I googled it up, I saw a reddit post over it and a lot of people actually complained that this shift key in most of the keyboards have issues. The second replacement that I received was fine but again to get the replacement, it took me more than 20 days and I had to mail them in a big number of times. And also doing that was not even enough because they were denying saying that the keyboard was not having that big of an issue. And even though it was for me a lot of money and I didn't really want it to have a product that was defective first of all, and it was quite annoying to press the shift and it was just too hard for me. And then ultimately I had to file a consumer code case against Keychron India and only then the company agreed to give me a replacement. It took around 20 days that I had to ship my old keyboard for Keychron back to them and then once they received it, they shipped me a new one. It was a lot of fuss. Customer support is something if you are wanting to gain people's attention, you should give a lot. But this Keychron's keyboard, even though it's amazing, I would not recommend you all to buy it in my opinion. With that, I'm going to end this video and leave you all with a thought. If it is worth it to buy a keyboard like this for the amount of money that you'll be paying. If yes, let me know in the comment section below what are the best features that you think this keyboard is offering. And if not, well, it's pretty obvious then it's a bad choice. I'll be catching you up with another video soon, next week probably. And congratulations to each and every person who is subscribed to this channel. We have successfully crossed 8,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 10,000 by the end of the year. If not, next year. And I'll be catching you guys soon enough. Until then, take care and meet you soon. Bye.